Hello and welcome to Jurassic Reviews. Today we'll be taking a look at a Series 2 figure from Kenner's Jurassic Park line. That figure is the Lysenops. The Lysenops was released in 1994 for $4.99 and included a collector's card. It also included capture gear, and I actually have all three pieces that came with it. I think this is one of my only loose figures that I actually have the complete capture gear with. This figure stands 3 inches tall and is almost seven and a half inches long from head to tail. The Lysenops is not a dinosaur, instead it was a mammal-like reptile. Like the Dimetrodon in the Series 1 line, this is another animal that Kenner decided to make a figure of that did not even exist at the same time as the dinosaurs. I for one think it's awesome that they made toys like this one. Yes, there are plenty of more dinosaurs that Kenner never made, but it was still a cool way to add more variety and introduce people to things they probably had never heard of before. The sculpt on this figure is pretty interesting. The animal itself reminds me a lot of a saber-toothed cat, with its large teeth sticking out. This is another one of those really smooth feeling figures, giving it a more cartoonish appearance. Despite this, the details are still pretty good on it. You can see the rib cage and various muscles. You can even see what appears to be veins along both sides of its body. There's also little tiny bumps found throughout this figure, so it doesn't really feel entirely smooth. The head is pretty crazy looking, again it has really large teeth. It's got a bit of an angry looking expression going on. The head also features many of those tiny little bumps found on the body. Inside the mouth you'll find more teeth and an individually sculpted tongue. Moving to the paint, it's painted a mostly dark orangish color. There's also some white paint on the inside of each leg, and along the belly and tail. Each foot is painted orange, but it also has black painted toenails. On its back left leg you'll find the JP mark, this one's number is 12. The other paint application found on the body is some black paint that starts about midway on the back of the figure, and continues all the way down to the tail. It's a cool stripe design that gives off some tiger-like vibes. Moving to the head you'll find more black paint. It's a stripe that's just painted on the top half of it. That starts from the large white painted teeth and continues under the eyes. The eyes are painted bright orange, but there's also some red paint in there as well. Like I previously stated, the teeth are painted white. The mouth is painted pink and so is the tongue. I quite like this paint job. It's simple but I think it fits very well. Moving to the articulation, it has 5 points total. All four legs can move, just back and forth. Actually, the back right leg can only move backwards, as it's tied to the action feature. And on the head, the mouth can open, but this is also part of the action feature. The action feature is described on the box as being saber strike teeth. To do this feature, you just pull back on the back right leg, which causes the top part of the jaw to open very wide. It's pretty bizarre looking. During this action, the tongue also moves upwards. It's a very basic action, but it's fine for what it is. It's pretty much the same action as the Series 1 Dimetrodon. This figure would have two different repaints. The first one would occur in the 1998 Chaos Effect line. I only have a boxed version of this figure, so we'll have to make do with looking at it through the packaging. The Chaos Effect line was all about creating hybrid dinosaurs, so that's exactly what this repaint was supposed to be. And instead of being called Lysenops though, it's called Tyrannonops, as it's supposed to be a hybrid of both T-Rex and Lysenops. Other than the paint though, it's the exact same figure as the Lysenops. There's no modifications to add anything from a T-Rex. This paint job is pretty insane. It's painted a bright orange, with black and beige stripes found throughout it. There's also some purple around each eye. Each eye is painted entirely beige. There's no painted pupils. Much of the rest remains the same, from the black toenails to the white painted teeth. It also came with the same capture gear, but it was painted a different color. The Chaos Effect line is known for its crazy paint applications, and this figure certainly delivers on that front. 
The next repaint would occur in the 1999 Walmart-exclusive Jurassic Park Dinosaurs line, though it would again have another name change, this time being referred to as the Lynx. The paint job on this one was more dull looking. It's painted mostly a dark gray color. It also has some green stripes and is covered in black dots. The teeth are painted white and the tongue is painted red. Interestingly, the outer bottom row of teeth are unpainted on this one, as is the inside of the mouth. Like the Chaos Effect version, this one does not have painted pupils, but this time instead of beige, the eyes are painted a solid black. Unlike the previous two releases, the toenails are left unpainted. This version would also see a release with Jurassic Park 3 packaging, but it was only available in Mexico. I find this one to be the most boring out of the three releases, but it still isn't too bad. Each of these figures is very similar in rarity. They are each sort of uncommon. The Series 2 one in the Chaos Effect version can usually be found for $25 to $30 loose and $50 or more in the packaging. The Jurassic Park Dinosaurs one is slightly harder to find, as it was part of the rare Wave 2 release of that line, so it seems to go for $30 or more loose and $60 or more in the packaging. But like always, you can find these for more or less. Before I give my rating for these figures, here's a comparison with some other figures. Here it is with the Kenner 4 inch human and a Mattel 3 and 3 quarter scale human. Here it is with the Velociraptor. Here it is with the Utah Raptor. Here it is with the Stegosaurus. And finally, here it is with the Tyrannosaurus Rex. For a rating out of 10, I give the first release and the Chaos Effect version an 8 out of 10. For the Jurassic Park Dinosaurs version, I give it a 7.5 out of 10. The sculpt is pretty cool and it sticks out with the giant teeth. The action feature is pretty basic, but it's okay. And the paint jobs are pretty good, though I don't like the Jurassic Park Dinosaurs version as much. No matter which version you find though, I think it's worth picking up. It's a unique figure by Kenner, and I recommend it. And that does it for the Jurassic Park Series 2 Lysenops. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.